हर वन मेहर बाबा अवतार मेहर बाबा की जय थैंक्स टू बी लवेड बाबा एंड जय बाबा टू ऑल ऑफ यू वी आर रीडिंग कॉन्वर्सेशन विद दर दैट इज द फर्स्ट बुक एंड वी आर ऑन पेज नंबर फोर्टी सेवन the chapter is the signs my sign posts go ahead. i am deeply grateful to you for the signs you often give me in my journey to you it does not seem logical to some people that i should be guided in this way yet i do not feel that this is all madness your signs speak so clearly to my heart that i wonder why others should find my fondness for them bewildering of course i would not argue with anyone about this or attempt to persuade them but i feel they may be shielding their rationality with blinders what a humor what an irony of your compassionate presence many of us are so accustomed to baba signs we all know okay if this is happening then that should be the meaning if that is happening if this should be the meaning and that is the meaning of signs and i have i have known of people personally so many of them where they feel baba's presence because of the signs and they become the sign post the sign post would mean you know a direction of what you are supposed to take or what in what direction you are supposed to go or lead yourself into now i am talking about my personal uh, view points it is perfectly okay to ask for signs and it is perfectly okay to you know to go by the sign post but baba himself has said at several times you know that many a times you are yourself the creator of these signs you know baba is even unaware of it you want to go in a certain direction so yeah he manifests himself the way we want him to manifest and then we proceed in that direction so here the author is saying that i wonder why people are people take me to be a foolish person and why people take me to be a slave of these signs and sign posts you know but somehow or the other i am i am i am okay with that that's what he's saying that people are actually their rationality here about the word their, their rationality they are putting blinkers by not accepting that this is one of the ways in which the lord can communicate with you signs in themselves are not dependent on the things or events which they use as their media you use the outward aspect of a happening to gracefully unfold your design to me signs act as signposts for me to make decisions with a clear conscience devoid of doubts they help me to clarify foggy situations to find myself in your sunshine i am beholden to you for this very beautiful many people so basically signs are independent it can make use of anything you may just switch on a television and something you get a message which is what you been already thinking about or you could just read a newspaper or you are walking and see a sign post you know a placard or whatever and that gives you the answer to what you have been thinking so signs are absolutely not attached to any medium through which they can come across to you but in all this this again i'm taking my personal view point i'm i'm expressing my personal view point we need to be absolutely honest about it because many a times and i i always joke then of course i'll say it again many a times you know people like to have the answers which they have in their mind they are not honest about it i would be digressing a little bit but still since we are on the signs and sign posts i will give you two or three episode let put it that way <coughs> we all know or most of us know dina talati Tina Talati was the mother-in-law of our present chairman Sridhar Kelkar. Uh, Naval Talati and Dina Talati were the parents, and Parviz was the daughter. Of course, Kushru was another brother. Parviz is brother, and Sridhar married Parviz. So that's the that's the whole setup. Yeah. Okay. What was the name? 
uh, they had another sister swamiya tells me but i don't know the name anyway in short when sridhar came to our center many years back he narrated one incident because dina talati was very forthright he would not she would not mince words so to speak and baba during a certain phase of his ministry would not be easily available will not be easily contactable and before that baba wanted each and every person to write to him to send the postcard to do telegram at those days they were telegram you know, send the telegram on so many things about their own personal life and baba would give them the direction guidance what is to be done what is not to be done and then baba was away for a very long period of time and dina was a little you know upset about it now how are we supposed to take the decision how do we know because we have become so dependent on you that we don't know whether we should go here or go here do this or do that and that was the time baba explained to dina talati and dina must have told to parviz and shridhar parviz and stroke or shridhar and this is what shridhar tells at the center from the center he said that baba told dina that whenever you are in a dilemma as to what am i supposed to do this decision or that decision first step be very honest keep your mind blank do not have any preconceived notion as to what should be baba's answer then put your right hand over your heart heart region you know blank mind and face baba's photograph or baba's whatever image is there and ask out loud from within baba this is the situation what should i do and baba said the very first impulse that you get in your heart you know that is what i would want you to do and you take that line then you tow that line you follow that principle but again in this baba has very expressly said one has to be very honest because we most of us are not so that was first episode i wanted to narrate the second episode is i have seen people coming to the center the bombay center and putting those chits you know yes and no whatever it may be supposing i love somebody should i marry her or should i not marry her yes and no and in my heart it is a yes obviously <clears throat> i am putting it and i am praying to baba i want an answer what do you wish what is your wish what is your will etc etc and you pick up a no and when you pick up a no you will tell baba okay i accept this but let us do three times so that i will go by two out of three like that what is coming so now supposing the second one comes again is yes so now the third time you are picking again it comes no so then what you tell baba no baba let's do one thing i will put it five times so three out of five now i should know and what i'm trying to convey is we are being dishonest we are then it won't work then it may not work i won't say it won't work anything can work anything may not work. that was the second thing i wanted to share and the third thing i i have shared all this before on this forum the third thing is that there was a young college going boy who would every single day go to what we used to call matinee show matinee show means it's in the afternoon your time where sometimes the tickets are also low price and there's no crowd there's no uh, there's no crowd at all you can easily get the ticket so one of his friends asked him you know that how is it that you are going every day to the film and all that you know he said what can i do it is god's will what is what do you mean god's will yeah it is god's will that i should go and therefore i am going but what do you mean by god's will how do you know what is god's will so he said i simply do one thing you know obviously bunks college he bunks college comes out and then toss a coin he would toss a coin and then he would say you know kings or heads you call it heads i go and tails i don't go but then the friend asked but do you mean to say you get heads every time then the boy said no sometimes i need to flick it more than once so in other words you are already determined that you want to go and you keep on flicking till you get heads and when you get head, oh baba wants me to go or god wants me to go and then you go and attend the movie theater so that is not what is expected here balnatu ji says that it it is a very personal private secret sacred bond between you and your beloved lord you see and it is only through that 
cultivating that kind of closeness with baba then obviously he would automatically speak within you to you show you the signs and then you can use them as signposts for moving ahead in life but for all that very important honesty and connectivity your closeness and connectivity with the lord it should not be that you thought that you want to you want to do a certain thing and you do that certain thing and then you say that you know oh i am suffering so much i am going through so much problem why 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 do you want to crib about it if you think that that was baba's wish and also think that it was it is baba's wish that you should go through this suffering it is good for you it's a cleansing process so it's a very very tricky thing one more episode i am reminded of which is very profound there was one gentleman who wanted to marry her daughter with some his daughter sorry his his daughter with somebody thank you with somebody and the proposal was asked baba was asked and baba made a little you know face you know, the, not good that a kind of thing so then the person started explaining to baba how good that man is in terms of his in terms of his education in terms of his capacity to earn money in terms of his social status family name and all that and it has always been the case that once baba said the first thing i say you should do then if you put a little additional information to baba he being personification of knowledge we are giving him the knowledge that this is the thing then baba would immediately twist his view point and oh is that so oh very nice very nice so then the marriage took place and after a few years this is baba's sign you know after a few years the vessels started you know making noise so then after a couple of years they again went to baba and baba is listening and then the gentleman that means the father of the the bride the, the daughter you know he said but baba you approved the moment that gentleman said the word approved baba immediately and very sternly snapped i did not approve i allowed i feel it's a very 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 profound difference between having the approval of baba and baba allowing us to do what we want to do although it may not have baba's approval but he allows you know so it's i think it would a world of difference so we need to be very 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 what should i say sensitive to baba's wish and baba's happiness and baba's joy because this is my personal feeling again that i feel that many of at least i do many of us are in that in that zone of baba allowing us he may not approve but he is allowing us you know so we should try to graduate ourselves from from allowing to approve all right go ahead when i happen to men mention this to others i have at times noticed sarcastic or indulgent smiles they are better judgment had closed the windows to your wonder and sense of humor in fact signs cannot be predicted through any technique they are not governed by any scientific laws a sign that comes as a result of expectation is either a product of auto suggestion or an outcome of mental conditioning these are not real signs for real signs are always unpredictable they happen now and then so you are also baba in a sense is cautioning us you know it says that signs cannot be predicted through any technique they are not governed by any scientific laws a sign that comes as a result of expectation i repeat a sign that comes as a result of expectation is either a product of auto suggestion because when you are thinking deeply about certain things it will definitely manifest itself in our in our arena of consciousness it is it is a it is a law you know that what what was that uh, what was the secret the secret the secret was some novel some film and all a book a book i had never i have not read anything but people say that when you repeat too many things too many times a similar whatever one thing then that manifest so obviously it manifest 
so we won't go into the the law of manifestation why it manifests but here it says that if it is a result if the signs are a result of expectation it is either a product of auto suggestion or an outcome of mental conditioning you condition your mind in such a way that obviously you will see that sign these are not real signs for real signs are always unpredictable they happen now and then each of your signs is like a splendid sunrise of a new day carrying a fresh message and a beauty all its own signs do not repeat themselves in a precise manner although a remote semblance is possible but the quality and elegance will be different each time that means they are not repetitive the signs are not repetitive but they are very close to being repeated that and it has a wide arena in which baba can give us signs of his presence and also we can use those signs as our sign post sign post would mean direction where he would want us to lead or where he would want to lead us while criticizing me some clever people refer to signs as crutches meant only for weaklings in their journey to you in a way they are right in a way they are not poor strong souls as long as one feels confident about one's trust in you why should others condemn the signs in their intellectual pride they do not know the sublimity of helplessness or the profundity of depending upon you and you alone that's why they call them crutches would that would that they come to know one day what a benediction this reliance on you is so here the author balnatu ji is emphasizing on reliance upon the lord when we say reliance it does not mean necessarily that we stop doing what we are expected to do but reliance also would mean in my understanding to have a very intimate close connection with the lord in a manner that we open up all the pathways for him to communicate to us and with us and so that we can use that power of inner communication for let's for our own betterment for moving further and further towards the lord towards the goal towards the source so here many people condemn and they say that this is a crutch but it may be a crutch he says but they have no idea of the sublimity of the beauty of the profundity of having that connection and depending upon the lord and depending upon him for our step by step walking towards the truth or towards the goal may those who are confident in their intelligence and proud of their self reliance go their own way in their journey to the truth which is you taking long strides and even running as fast as they can they must exert themselves in this way because they regard you as the goal to be attained in some distant future i cannot comment on this except to say that we who are poor in spirit regard you not as a goal but not all, only as not a only as the goal but also as the road leading to you the ever present one in other words <clears throat> we must all consider ourselves so fortunate like how jesus said i am the way and the goal that only jesus can say not any other masters not other saints or sadhus or anybody else mahatmas mahapurushas they cannot say that because they may be the way but they are not the goal so in the same way as jesus said baba is not just the goal but he is also the way and once we have entrusted our entire being to his care to him then obviously you know every step of the way we are enjoying the journey we are not just waiting to reach the goal because for us every step is the goal because finally 
Baba is him. Baba himself is the way and the goal. So he says that when people people struggle, people do a lot of penance, people do a lot of karma kand and stuff like that, austerities. But they are struggling. They are they are they are jogging. They are running. They are getting tired. But for us, it's a very smooth flowing thing because we have entrusted our entire being to the Lord. I remember an instance, and I have narrated this before again. It's a, uh, Baba and, and a few Mandli, they were roaming around some religious places. I don't know the place, maybe Badrinath, Kedarnath, and all the Banaras, Kashi, and where they came across so many sadhus who were deep into penance. You know, somebody, you know, like sleeping on a bed of iron nails, and somebody, you know, standing on one feet and somebody rolling on the ground to go from one place to other. And money, Baba's sister Mani told Baba, you know, that Baba, just imagine, I mean, they are doing so much. They are really going through so much of pain and suffering to reach you. Whereas we are, we are in that sense, comparatively so much comfortable. We are so much at ease and at peace. And that is when Baba said, you know, that you all have done all these things. And that is why you have me in this incarnation. So again, there are people who would like to go the hard way. There are people who would like to go the Baba way, which is the most, as I always say, safe, secured, quick, and what should I say? Easy. I would not, easy in the sense, it's not easy as easy. But it may be, like Eraj would say, life was not easy, you know, but it was joyful. Means in spite of going through difficulties and problems and pain, there was a certain element of joy in that pain. And I remember once Adi K. Irani, Adi Kaga, Adi Senior, asking Baba when in one of the dazzles, Baba was quoting about something to do with uh, pain and going through difficult times and pain, you know. What was the new life? There's a, there's, a, there's a line I don't remember now. That's when Baba explained, you know, example, a very gross example, that when you feel, when you got some hurt and you feel like itching, you know, and when you scratch, when you are scratching, there is a certain amount of pain over there, obviously, because the, the wound has become very raw. So when you are scratching it, it is becoming, it is becoming still raw. It might even bleed. But in all this scratching and itching, you know, there is a certain element of joy in there. When you are scratching, there's an that's a mixture of going through the difficult times with Baba and also having a certain amount of tranquility, a certain amount of equanimity, a certain amount of joy, knowing that Baba is with us whenever, whatever we are going through. In fact, science cannot be predicted through. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, sorry, I'm finished. As oh, done. Yeah. All this is done. You done this. As long as you done it, my dear. Yeah, yeah. May those who are, oh, no, yeah. <laughs> I pray to you not to create any attachment to me to your signs. Yet, how can I deny that I love them? Please don't withhold them from me. So yes. this is this is another trap that we get attached to the signs. This had happened to some of the Mandli members, the early Mandli members, who had some gift of occult powers, occultism, you know. And when that was stopped, they felt that they have now this Baba has distanced, distanced himself from them, or Baba is unhappy with them. And therefore, they are not getting those signs and experiences. And that is when Baba had explained that when there was a, during that period of time, when there was a need for you to go through this, it was given. Now you have already surpassed that, that place. You know, you don't need them. You are so strongly anchored in me that there is no need for you to have those experiences. So many of us 
I do not know. Maybe having some experiences at some point in time, and then it just vanishes. So one should never feel that, oh, Baba is Baba has become sad with us, or Baba is angry with us, or whatever it is, or he loves us less. Nothing of that sort. It, it is a passing phase. Everything is a passing show, a passing phase. And therefore, your the author says that, help me that I am not attached to them. Please, uh, th this is a poem. Yeah. However, fast the, however fast the strong may run, to them you become like a distant horizon. For those who go by signs and walk on crutches, you become a midday sun. May I bask in the sunshine of your presence. May you shower your signs on me. Let the wise laugh and criticize me, for they have not tasted this rare wine. Perhaps these scenes are such signs sometimes, perhaps these scenes and such signs sometimes give you a good laugh. All right. I don't think this requires any explanation. Anything to ask? Anything to share? Anything to contribute? Good. So now we go on to the next one. I hope we are all, at least I am enjoying, we both are enjoying, and I hope you all are also enjoying, because it is, it is very down-to-earth feelings and emotions which all of us go through, and what, according to the awakener, uh, awakener of the age, Meher Baba, what has he got to say to us to help us, to pull us out of that uh, rut? Wipe off the images. At dusk, I was sitting alone in a far off place on a secluded rock in a river bed. After satisfying myself that no one was around, <clears throat> I began playing on my flute. Being a novice, the notes were quite discordant, yet I felt happy and at ease with myself. A little later, as I put the flute aside to gaze at the evening sun lowering on the distant hill, I heard someone say, why did you stop playing? Startled, I turned to find you sitting on a nearby rock, the flicker of a smile on your lips. Did you like my notes? I asked shyly. They were lovely, enchanting. Don't you tease me. I wonder if there is anyone in the world who can appreciate my tunes. Were you playing for others the world? No, not at all. So, when you don't play for anyone, you become very unassuming. This makes you most natural with yourself. This unselfconsciousness state pleases me. So much so that sometimes I jump out of your heart. So, so here, again, the important thing is that whenever we sing for Baba, whenever we act for Baba, whenever we speak for Baba, it is not for the audience that we are doing. We are doing it for Baba. You're, you know, because our whole focus why I'm saying this, because sometimes we get a little waylaid and we feel a little distraught when there is very little crowd. I remember an instance, this, this, this was the first time it happened when I was, we were invited to speak at a certain place. And besides Saumya and myself, there was just one person present. Something happened. I don't want to get into the place and what happened. But both of us, we said Baba is present and we have to make the talk. I, I, I was supposed to give the talk the way as if, you know, as if the Baba is there and I have to keep on going. And then for a little while, mind you, even that one person had to go for something. And of course, they came, he came back and then one or two more persons came. So we are not for the crowds. We are not for applause. We are not for a standing ovation. We are doing it all to please Baba. That is the bottom line. We have to understand that. You know? So here, the author was playing a flute and then 
beautiful words here you say he says you know don't when baba appreciated the tune balnatu ji is saying don't tease me i wonder if there is anyone in the world who could appreciate my tunes and baba says were you playing for others the world he says no not at all then baba says so when you don't play for anyone you become very unassuming we be we become ourselves you know we are actually ourselves we are not we are not play acting we are exactly what we are inside out this makes you most natural with yourself this unself consciousness not self consciousness this unself consciousness conscious state pleases me this unself conscious state pleases me so much so that sometimes i jump out of your heart baba is always in our heart so he jumps out of our heart and prakats himself manifests himself as he is doing all the while wonderful but to remain un self conscious is not easy it is a big problem for me those who are centered in me in all your activities unburden their minds they sleep peacefully at night and wake up totally fresh in the morning why don't you do likewise just read this those who are centered in me all the time focusing on baba in all their activities unburden their minds that is why why baba is so 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 merciful and so compassionate that he doesn't want us to acquire more and more karmas and samskaras he wants us to unburden our minds and one of the easiest again ways is to have his constant companionship thereby baba himself has said even if some negative thoughts come vulgar dirty filthy whatever thoughts come and if my remembrance is there then those thoughts do not bind you so mind you it is very how important it is to keep constant companionship of baba go ahead. but this is like asking me to hold the sky in my fist i assure you of my help if you decide to strive for it do your best being be beware of being unaware of my presence in you am i not the center of life so beautiful the, the construction of sentences are so beautiful really here baba always makes us make some effort try baba says i assure you of my help if you decide to strive we are expected to make an attempt an effort if you decide to strive for it do your best always baba has given a lot of emphasis emphasis on do your best even the message called don't worry be happy it has a a precursor sort of you know do your best then don't worry be happy i will help you so in other words he expects us to first do our best and then just leave the rest to baba so he says do your best and then another beauty of construction beware of being unaware beware of being unaware of my presence in you in other words he uses two negatives you know in other words always be aware of my presence in you i repeat <laughs> beware of being unaware of my presence in you am i not the center of life baba is the center of life so why can't we constantly be centered in him i don't doubt your words yet i don't feel the certainty of them in my heart the acceptance of them is only on the intellectual level see he is expressing what we all are going through intellectual at the intellectual level we ex we accept whatever baba says but when it comes to experience when it comes to feelings some of us have some of us don't have some of us have for some time and then it vanishes some of us have for full time so he is expressing the same thing that i don't doubt your words what you are saying i i fully appreciate and accept it intellectually but when it comes to actually living that life 
that is where the difficulty comes i am happy with your open confession this candid attitude will lead you to imbibe the truths i reveal to you and you quietly looked away so he he appreciates our honesty and our open attitude where we have seen it over and over again in baba's ministry he would ask somebody what do you take me to be but they would say baba i cannot take you to be god i then baba would say okay then what do you want to take me as i can take you as a friend then if you want to take me as a friend take me as your best friend take me as a friend to whom you can totally rely on and depend on in that way so baba has been very very open about it that be honest and frank as to what you take him to be i gathered that you you did not wish to say more on the subject turning your gaze on me you asked softly will you play again on your flute for me feeling extremely self conscious i shook my head sorry i don't think i could do it now with that same ease in your overpowering presence so your baba is asking the person to play the flute for me baba says for me for him and he become he, he originally he was very unself conscious now he has become so self conscious that he feels that your presence is so overpowering that i don't think i can do that for you here i have a few yeah, sorry i have two episodes to talk about uh one is when baba had gone to uh, to uh karachi karachi not karachi but to this place okay karachi quetta quetta originally where 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 rusi pop rusi pop the father of uh, dr goher and kt irani and this is one small episode when baba had gone with the mandli and somebody served baba an apple and baba uh, the, it was cut into a few pieces and baba took a piece and took it near kt's mouth and said eat it and out of decency out of respect whatever it is she said no baba it's for you you eat it and baba was furious baba said don't you have any manners don't you have any nobody told you that you you should never refuse the lord you know something like that she did it out of so called uh, etiquette you can say but baba was very furious about it so that is a lesson we need to learn that when baba is offering anything to us we should obey we should obey the second which we all know about pilamai we all know or should be knowing pilamai was baba's spiritual sister and she also lived in karachi and when she got to know that uh, baba would always travel third class during those times we used to have third class you know which was always packed and crowded and you know all kinds of things you know, no place to sit and all that so she made one nice chair folding chair stool type of thing very elegant which can be easily carried and opened up and baba can sit so she presented it to baba for carrying it during the train travels and on on that particular travel pilamai was also there and then she presented to baba and she opened up and told baba please sit on this chair and baba said no you sit on it and pilamai said no how can i sit i have made it with so much of love so much of affection so much of whatever whatever respect this that you know and so she again tells baba no baba you see it is made for you i am not worthy of sitting on this hey, whatever again baba says no you and it happened a few times and baba got so furious that he threw the stool or chair whatever you call it out of a moving train out of the out of the door and she was aghast you know and then that is where baba again a lesson on obedience baba says that this is not obedience you are more attached to your own emotions about the stool rather than obeying my orders what is important is to obey my orders and not to be emotionally tied to your own whatever emotions and we also know know about the chappals when baba asked the was vishnu or somebody to bring the, to take the chappal and do some errand and he bowed down to the chappal and walked barefooted and baba was again furious same thing he said baba 
he said baba i am not worthy of putting on your sandals they are so pious they are worth uh, worshiping how can i and same thing baba said you know that you that mean this is not love this is not obedience this is you are pampering your own emotions about what it is so the, all these small episodes make us it's it's a learning lesson for all of us you know that what baba expects out of us go ahead very casually you replied all right i came to hear you but since you don't play i take my leave the next moment you stood up instead of casting me a look of displeasure you gave <clears throat> me a tender glance of love that transfixed me then gracefully you walked away down the rock wading through knee deep water onto the beach and soon you were out of sight i was charmed by the elegance of your stride the easy movements of your hands seemed seemed to orchestrate a joyous symphony of your being in tune with everything around you the sun set behind the hill scattering splendid hues on the horizon i picked up my flute it seemed to be saying to me how foolish you were not to honor a simple request the truth of this filled my heart with shame and agony what a pity that i had wanted to maintain my respectable image before you even even before you that i had wanted to be someone special when you wanted me to be natural life should in fact be a continuous wiping away of images to please you to wail oneself with an image is to distance oneself from your intimate lively presence how silly that is but this is what i had done the flute now rests on my table and since that evening i have not played it but whenever i look at it i hear a song sung in silence the refrain of it is oh dear fool he is the natural one be natural with him wipe off the images of respectability the way to please him is not difficult just be what you are in naked humility perhaps this was the silent message you filled my flute with before you left its haunting melody often stirs me and reminds me to shed my images the veils that keep me from pleasing you so here again i am reminded of another episode again again it is obviously bombay center where madhusudan pund we all know madhusudan he was a i would say a court singer in baba's darbar baba's court a very beautiful voice and the lyrics was so are so profound that he could not write it it's obviously baba dictating to him it seemed like so once he was there in the center and he was narrating his experiences and all that and in that he said that there was a time when baba was there alone and madhusudan was also there and so madhusudan asked baba a question baba you say i have come not to teach but to awaken i don't understand that what is that and baba was trying to explain through gestures there was no one there so he he just couldn't understand what baba is trying to convey little thereafter somebody came in maybe eras maybe anybody we don't know i don't remember that and baba dictated the same message through that person to madhusudan and this is what madhusudan understood and shared at the bombay center he said that baba was saying that every one of us wears a nakab nakab means a a, a, mask. a mask a mask a veil everybody wants to present himself or herself in a very presentable decent way they are not naked so to speak baba had used the word 
so they are not open they are not themselves they are always trying to project themselves as who they are not and baba says i am here to remove all those masks so that was one of the interpretations which according to madhusudan ji baba informed that i am here to remove all the masks now my my interpretation of so many scams so many frauds so many so many things coming to light in these days perhaps could be the result of baba just tearing away the veils and tearing away the masks so that that person experiences the opposite of what he has done in other words punishment regret whatever it is in this lifetime itself so that it is not carried forward to the next this is my personally personal opinion about it now coming here what baba says what he says is that the moment he said no i don't want to play or whatever because he was feeling very self conscious in the you know awesome uh, presence of the beloved you know baba did not condemn him baba did not say anything he just smiled and walked away you know but sometimes you know it so happens that he does not baba does not need, i last time once before i had said baba does not need to say anything or to express anything just walking away out of our presence is sufficient to touch something within us that will make us feel that oh what a foolish person i was that i did something last time what i said was that the baba had just turned the face away from the person when he was expecting baba to look straight into his eyes and and you know, do this or do this or whatever it is so these were baba's signs of telling that what you did was not right but that does not mean that baba would continue with that feeling in his heart you know immediately the next episode is a totally different episode and baba would be most forgiving why i am saying this is most of us you know we we do not forgive ourselves but baba is most forgiving the moment the time is over the next thing is a totally new issue a totally new episode so here here what we are saying is that life should be in fact a continuous wiping away of images to please you we have to just keep on wiping away all the images that we are carrying when we when we see people when we meet people when we interact with people you know then of course you are nothing much to say except that ha huh, what a pity that i wanted to maintain my respectable image even before you we want to show a respectable image. that i wanted to be someone special when you wanted me to be natural so in other words baba always expects us to be most natural in his presence and one of the one or two instances that come to my mind one is that there was a person in baba's darbar when I, it could be it could be guru prasad it could be any other mehrazad hall or some he could not sit properly uh on the floor like you know what we call as crossed leg and he was struggling to do this and the impression that the person had is how can i stretch my legs outward facing baba it would be disrespecting baba when you when you face your leg and immediately baba noticed that and told that person that why are you punishing yourself if you cannot sit properly you can either sit on a stool or a chair or you can just stretch out your legs and be comfortable because if you are not comfortable you won't be able to grasp what i am trying to say because all your attention would be on your knees or on your what whatever part of your legs which are hurting you when you are sitting down so here again baba expects us to be most natural another aspect of it was ah he said why is he to black is in my hand ah no that was a different yeah she is prompting me to say that i am everywhere but wherever direction that was another story of i think kabir or somebody yeah, anyway with baba with ba okay okay with baba but that is not the point here the point here is to be natural so be be natural about it mm. the other thing we all know again this uh, episode about uh, uh, dr harry kenmore 
he had a natural way of saying Baba's prayers. And we all feel like a bombastic voice, you know, oh, Parvadega, and very, 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 very forceful voice. And once it so happened, again, I think it was in Guru Prasad, where uh, Dr. Bharucha in, later on confronted him and said that, why are you saying those prayers like this? Why uh, you, are, you are saying it in a manner as if you are fighting with Baba. Why can't you be a little more soft, softer in your tone when you say the prayers? So next time when, because most of the time English prayer, prayers were being recited by Dr. Harry Kenmore. So Dr. Harry Kenmore recited the prayer in so-called decent manner. Oh, Parvadigar, the preserver and protector of all. And Baba was looking up to him. Obviously, we all know he was a blind chiropractor. So he couldn't see that Baba. And then Baba tucked him and sent a message. Why is it that you are uh, saying the prayers like this? Then he was told to pray in the natural way. So obviously, he started praying in his bombastic uh, sound, voice. And then Baba asked later on that, why is it that you are praying like this? And words to the effect, he said that, you know, my being natural is hurting the auditory canal, that means the ear of some of your disciples. So just in order to please them, I'm saying it in a lower tone. And Baba immediately snapped and said, no, be natural with me. This is natural for you. So you be natural with me. I love you as you are. And I love the prayers as you are residing. So these are the instances where we can make out that Baba expects us to be most natural with him. Any questions? Anything to ask? If it's a big, or it's a big chapter, one minute. I wouldn't like to... Uh, sorry, you want to say? We still have about seven minutes more. Eight minutes, sorry. Would you like to sing a song? I don't want to stop the... It's a little bigger chapter. I don't want to start. Why don't we have some 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 sharing on what we have done just now? If at all somebody wants to share or put in there what we call as two bits to say how much it has... Uh, what it meant to all of us. Anybody wants to share anything? Otherwise, I'll ask Samia to sing the song. Maybe any song. Harris, yes. Harris, I would like to say. Yeah, please. You want to sing? Say. No. <laughs> but that's Ali just said. All right, go ahead. I just want to say that uh, sometime, uh, some in the earlier part of your talk, you said that people ask for approval of Baba or they ask so that he get the reply. But at that time, he was alive. He yes. was in his physical form. Yes. But now, he's not. So yes. instead of asking, we just say, we have done our best. Now it is up to you to give us the results. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because now, what to... Mm -hmm. And we are not... At least, I'm not that highly conscious that I will get some ishara or some answer by any other way. So I just leave it to him that I have done whatever I have to for anything, for physical health, for any meetings that I have to attend and some speech that I have to give. So I do my best. And then I tell my children also that you can't expect reply because he's not in life, you know, he's, I mean, so what is your, your take on this? My take is, first of all, if you say that I'm not that high and advanced, <laughs> Baba would term that as you are expressing your lower self. That means you are lowering yourself. How do you know that you are not high? The question, yeah, I'm, I'm, since you are asking my take, you know, because in a sense, we are all high, but we are mixing ourselves with the false I, the body and the mind, and we think that we are not high. Let's put it that way. But before you do whatever you do, when you're saying that I'm, I'm discharging my duties, there is a possibility of your just pausing for just a moment and go within yourself and ask yourself what Baba would want you to do. And I'm sure you would get an answer. It's not that you require a certain spiritual stature to know the answer. You will, you will, everybody, everybody, I think everyone consults Baba in their own heart to know what one should do. 
if there is a dilemma if you don't know whether you should do this or do that but if you are if you know exactly what you are expected to do and then what you are doing is the best thing do your best put in your best and leave the results to baba that's correct that's the that's the best way to do that it that is all you can do right right right, do. right 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 absolutely right and not only at the time of your predicament we are all the time thinking of him but then what more do you so i don't think we should need an answer from absolutely. him absolutely absolutely no but there are people <laughs> who look for signs like even when they're talking or they look for signs and they get it Oh, it's not that they're preconceived. Like just the way he said it, they do get uh, signs, and then they feel so anchored in Baba, and that's a stepping stone for them to be more and more focused uh, in living with Baba. For and me, when I get the positive results of what I have uh, prepared for all my children or whatever it is, I feel I got the answer. But it comes a okay. little later, not immediately. You know, so each, each one has a different. So I yeah. could relate because so many people share what they feel, no? So it was very easy for us to relate. Truly, this is how it must be. See, we know of people who get shined by way Thank of you. butterflies, by way of butterflies. No, I think I have to go, Cyrus. Uh, I'll go. Please, yeah, bye, bye, please, bye, bye. You want me to push you? <laughs> okay. Or oh, whatever saying. Okay, Aman, please feel free to go please feel free to go. because i have another meeting to attend you know <coughs> please please jai baba jai baba jai jai ba. Ba. if you want me to help you by pushing i can do that <laughs> all right so people get signed with butterflies the moment they feel you know dejected a butterfly will come and this oh this is baba some people okay, get bye. in the clouds on the wall uh, a piece, uh, something you know uh, with a, a vehicle with a number 33 22 66 and all that and we've come across so many people who do say that this is the sign and what's wrong in that but don't be attached to it don't be totally dependent upon it if you feel that we are getting the signals because of that that's fine yes vignya <coughs> nimesh <coughs> yeah jay baba jay baba so, dear. yeah yeah so actually uh, when you uh, said that uh, example about pilamai you know making uh, preparing that foldable <laughs> tool and yes. you know how baba so uh, just in uh, just thought that whenever mehra used to make something for baba okay anything and she would offer it to baba baba never would you know uh, take any lesson i mean or any exam as as he did uh, for Pilamai or the others. So does that mean that Baba knew uh, as much as, you know, even Pilamai would not have thought also uh, that with what impression or with what uh, intention she must have made it, uh, you know, it must be beyond her, you know, imagination. And right. Baba knew it in those instances and hence he uh, had to do To set an example, you mean? Pardon? To set an example for all of us, you mean? Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, see, Mera was totally different. We cannot compare Mera with the other women only. At the same time, we cannot compare Mera with Baba. So let's understand. She had a special place in the in the ministry, in the Autaric ministry, and that we all all respect. So that is a different thing. But other than that, now whether these episodes are all pre-planned because if everything is pre-planned yes they were also pre-planned but suffice to say they were lessons for us we had not been so fortunate to be living with baba like a monthly but then because of their so-called mistakes we are getting to learn how one should conduct oneself in the presence of a master may not may not be we may not be uh, searching any other master but at least we got the lesson and that's about all I can say. Okay. Is, is Ram Nori, Ram Nori has a question? Do you wonder? Yeah, yeah, this, I'm here. I'm here. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, go no, ahead. No, Nimesh, no, Nimesh, 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 go ahead. No, uh, I often wonder why there are no such instances in case of Mehra. I, I just, you know, think that. Way. Actually, no, no, if you read Mehra Meher, which is uh, a compilation by uh, David Fenster, you will see the other picture of Mehra, a totally different picture of Mehra, where so many of her 
apparent i'm saying apparent weaknesses apparent sluggishness apparent not so smartness will be, will be highlighted so what we are seeing is only the apparent positive things but there were apparent negative aspects also which baba would uh, polish and fine tune and fine and fine tune through the whole phase so if you read mera mer there are three volumes now of course the the new edition has come with several more photographs and uh, notes you know so that will show the in its entirety what was mera's role in baba's ministry so it is not as you are saying you know it's not that baba never did that it is there but we are not exposed to that aspect of it nobody is exposing yeah. it we are not we are not yeah. we are not exposed we are not speaking when <clears throat> anybody is asked to speak about mera they only put up the positive aspects nobody goes into the uh, minute details of how much baba worked on her not first baba first upasthi maharaj how much of training was, was given to her to live up to be the consort of the avatar she's gone through right. a lot <laughs> we cannot think of so yeah she, Sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's um, yeah. I, actually, I was going to answer his question. You know, I mean, Please first do of that. all, um, we should, yeah. First of all, we should not compare, and it's not we. As you said, we only you know know the positive aspects of when Mera offered something, Baba accepted. There are many cases when a Mera suggested and Baba did not take it. An mm -hmm. example would be Mera did ask, you know, Baba, Baba, why don't you give you know Jal and Dolly you know children? Okay, so there there are many you know which are even not, for Arnavas and Arnavas and Narima, right? So right. it's it's a right. So right. We, and, and more than anything else, you know, we should not be comparing. You know, I mean, Mera is different, right? And if you are going to compare, did everybody else love Baba? You know, the way Mera has loved Mera had loved him. So no, uh, maybe maybe not. So these sort of things, you know, it's uh, we we shouldn't be. You know, I mean, you can ask them, but. Right, right. You need to take it. <laughs> right, so, right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your sharing. Okay. All right. So we we've, we've touched our six thirty mark. Okay. Thank you, Baba. Thanks to all of you. Avatar Meher Baba ki. Yes. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. Thank you, Jai Baba. Jai Baba.